E aí, tudo bem? Alexandre Nogueira mais uma vez com vocês e hoje com um convidado mais do que especial. Pela primeira vez falando, mas trazendo muita notícia boa, eu tô aqui com o Yama Alpata, que é o Head de Operações do AliExpress aqui no Brasil. O Ali já deu muito o que falar desde a sua chegada e vai ser um prazer bater um papo e a gente responder algumas perguntas. Yama, é, qual a importância do Brasil dentro de toda a operação do AliExpress e do projeto do AliExpress. O Brasil é um país muito importante para nós. Nós começamos a nossa globalização global há uh, três anos, quando também eu me juntei ao AliExpress. Nós começamos com alguns países, o AliExpress já é bom, como a Rússia, a Espanha, a Itália, a Turquia. And then France uh, was number five. Uh, now uh, it's Brazil, number six. It's the first country in the whole, you know, American uh, region, also in Latin America. So um, we see a significant growth, uh, especially after the pandemic. Uh, the e-commerce here growing super fast. And uh, AliExpress is here for 10 years, more, maybe more than 10 years, but. Um, For, especially after the pandemic, we see very strong uh, growth in our user base, uh, which we want to serve better. So uh, that's why we decided um, to come to Brazil and to provide a better service uh, to our customers with our partners here. Um, faster delivery, better products selection, uh, better payment options, uh, better prices. Um, all of this uh, is actually our aim um, and the reason why we are here. Então, AliExpress focando muito no Brasil e não é brincadeira, é realmente uma operação que veio para ficar. E, Alan, e vocês chegaram com um posicionamento de aceitar apenas empresas, CNPJs, empresas mesmo, e não pessoas físicas para venda. O que demonstra esse posicionamento hoje como o AliExpress? Like in all other markets, uh, we expect uh, sellers to have a company uh, that can issue invoice. We are welcoming companies with CMPG to have uh, the you know legitimate uh, infrastructure, um, both for the buyers and also for the sellers. Um, Alibaba um, is taking care a lot of um, both parties, both sellers and the uh, buyers. We want to keep um, a, you know. Um, a good marketplace uh, where um, all buyers and sellers act in a uh, good mood. So that's why we need um, companies who serve best, uh, who can serve the best to the buyers. Um, especially proper intellectual property rights is uh, very important for us. Uh, it's the core of Alibaba uh, values. So um, that's why Uh, that's also like another reason uh, why we are asking uh, CMPG uh, uh, or like companies or sellers with CMPG. Então já ficou claro o recado que o AliExpress quer ser sim um lugar com bons produtos, bons vendedores e sim respeitando né, tanto as leis quanto todos os direitos autorais e as, as proteções de marca que nós temos aqui no Brasil. Então isso mostra a seriedade do projeto também na chegada. Na China a gente tem ainda muitas outras funcionalidades, promoções, hum. cupons, hum. entre outras funcionalidades que estão sendo trazidas ainda hum. para o Brasil. A gente pode esperar todas hum. essas, essas funcionalidades e essa gamificação aqui no Brasil yeah. também? Uh, AliExpress is, uh, you know, built on Chinese e-commerce. Is uh, is benefiting a lot from the e-commerce in China. I also lived in China for some time, and uh, the e-commerce is like a fun. Uh, it's not very, you know, uh, straightforward. So uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a fun uh, in for for Chinese uh, buyers. So we want to also have, you know, this fun and, and uh, entertainment uh, also uh, in Brazil as well. And we want to bring this as well uh, to our um, to our buyers. So that's why we have we invest a lot into social media and also into gamifications. Like for instance, Peshisha is. Uh, yeah. One of the most uh, famous and most accepted uh, game gamifications. Um, so apart from that, also we provide a lot of tools uh, to our sellers. I also look at the local platforms. Um, 
in other countries as well. Uh, it's much more simple. So uh, while a seller enters uh, the AliExpress platform, uh, they think it's a bit complex. Uh, there are many tools, uh, and it's true. Uh, but once they learn this uh, and how to use them, it's actually quite uh, simple. Uh, it, it gives the opportunity to the seller to grow its own brand and its own traffic. So in local marketplace, generally, you are not in charge of your traffic. You don't know your buyers, you don't know uh, the, your traffic, uh, or you cannot control traffic. You depend mainly on the platform uh, decision and resources, and you need to fight for the traffic. Uh, in AliExpress, you can develop your own traffic with you know, social and uh, with other tools that we provide, like uh, you know, freebies, for instance. It's, a, again, a gamification. Um, it's a tool uh, where sellers can join, um, uh, where, where sellers can gain followers to their stores, which is very important because then once you have more followers for your store, uh, it gives a better rating uh, and it gives organic traffic uh, to your store and you can do special campaigns for your followers. You can, do, you can send the email messages, you can send app messages, um, you can send special coupons to your followers. So that's why it's important to have um, you know, a good follower base, like an Instagram account. You grow your store with such tools, uh, you gain followers. We provide free um, free advertising rights uh, for sellers uh, who upload products and uh, ship their orders uh, regularly. Uh, we give free advertising. We don't sell advertising. Uh, we give free uh, advertising uh, to, to, to our sellers. Also, we have lots of campaigns like daily campaigns, weekly campaigns, big campaigns like Double Eleven, which is approaching. And we expect sellers to join uh, these campaigns. Uh, that's also very important uh, to have a good business in AliExpress. Boa. Então, ficou claro o recado, né? O Yama já falou aí do 11 do 11 para todo mundo ir marcando essa data aí como uma grande data também, uma data próxima já, e o Ali vai trazer bastante coisa sobre isso. E ao mesmo tempo a oportunidade e a possibilidade de você que é um seller que quer se destacar usando a, a estratégia e fazendo algo a mais, você tem muitos caminhos para realmente performar bem dentro da gamificação do Ali. Indo para o próximo ponto, Yama, qual a velocidade de evolução do AliExpress uhum. no Brasil? Uhum. Mais devagar ou rápido e com crescimento acelerado? We don't have one minute to lose. I mean, I think we are already late. So uh, we need to move very full speed ahead. We need to have, you know, uh, more sellers, more partners, more locally sourced uh, products. Um, logistics is uh, one of our key focus. Maybe like uh, 60, 70 percent of my, you know, uh, work and uh, time is dedicated to provide a better logistics services to uh, our sellers. We are coming with good surprises. Uh, in terms of you know logistics, better prices uh, and uh, better, um, faster delivery uh, options. So um, logistics is one key area that we are growing currently uh, very fast. Um, also, customer support is very important for us. Uh, we have currently uh, is phone support and a chat support, uh, email support. As I said, like AliExpress is seems to be a little bit difficult in the very beginning. It's a bit uh, complex, but we provide also help uh, one by one uh, to our sellers who come to us or we even go to them and uh, offer help uh, with uh, decorating their store, optimizing products, uh, because we know what to do. Uh, we, we, and we reach out sellers and tell them uh, we can cooperate, we can assign a store operator for you, uh, we can assign one of our consultants. Uh, that's another part that we are uh, growing. We have a program uh, called Seller Acceleration, Accelerator Accelera, uh, Vendedor. <laughs> um, and we, we accept sellers and we help them uh, one by one. Also, team, local team, is very important for us. Uh, we are recruiting. <laughs> um, and uh, we want to grow our team here as well. We don't have like uh, time to lose. <laughs> Muito bom. E a man começou e falou, né? E, e terminou falando que não tem tempo para perder. Como seller, eu fico feliz, porque isso é muito positivo. A gente sabe do tamanho da força e do poder que tem. Então, evoluções muito rápidas vindo por aí. 
Quando a gente fala de categorias, hum. é, todas as categorias tão, estão dentro dos planos do, do AliExpress e serão fomentadas? AliExpress uh, has already very strong pace in the uh, 3C category, we call it, um, like the consumer electronics, uh, phones, uh, mobile phones, uh, computers, um, these categories, and you know, accessories of this. AliExpress is already very strong. It's one of the, uh, it's have a big share in the market. Uh, so that's why this is our, you know, core, one of our core uh, categories. Um, the second one is that we grow, we see that there's a significant growth in the uh, home and life category uh, because of the pandemic. You know, uh, a lot of people work from home and spend more time uh, at home, especially in the pandemic. Uh, so that's why there's also significant growth and uh, we would like to increase our supply base, uh, local supply uh, in these categories as well. And the third one is the fashion. Uh, like, a, you know, when I say fashion, I mean mostly like basic fashion uh, products. So that's also like one, uh, One, put, one area that we see currently big growth and potential. And the final one is the FMCG. Um, when I say FMCG, actually, it's not only, I'm not only referring to, um, uh, to uh, like supermarket products or food. I'm mainly talking about like the products that people buy, you know, repeatedly. You buy like every month or every week, maybe. Uh, like diapers or I don't know uh, batteries or things like or masks, right? Uh, so these kind of products that is very important for us uh, to have repeat customers. So that's also another uh, category that we are currently have looking for sellers and uh, trying to have more supply. O Yaman vai trazer um recado final para a gente aqui, mas antes disso avisar todo mundo que ainda não está vendendo no AliExpress, que a gente vai deixar aqui embaixo, em algum lugar desse vídeo aqui, o link para você poder se cadastrar. Tá? Lembrando que todos os tipos de CNPJ, exceto o SA, tá? são aceitos dentro do AliExpress para você poder vender. Tem que ter CNPJ, nota fiscal, realmente o Yaman trouxe a seriedade. E isso é muito importante porque isso também é, ajuda o mercado a evoluir. Então, lembre-se aí, o link está aqui embaixo. E de antemão já te agradecer antes, eu vou deixar você encerrar, mas eu quero te agradecer pela, pelo tempo, pela atenção e principalmente pelo foco que, que o Ali tem tido no Brasil. É, isso é muito bom com o brasileiro, a gente, a gente saber uhum. dessa expectativa de vocês. E o seu recado final para os sellers é, que vão ouvir o Yama agora. Ah, chegamos. <risos> Vamos crescer juntos. Boa, muito bom, muito bom. Então, pessoal, recado da Adriana, vem crescer com a AliExpress, vamos acelerar junto. Muito obrigado e bora. Obrigado, gente.